this isn't your average backyard bug. This is the tree hopper, nature's tiny alien. They look like living thorns, but the real weirdness is in their secret language. We can't hear it, but through special microphones, scientists have translated their vibrations. They don't chirp, they drum. Some sound like bombs falling, others like a frantic telegraph machine. These coded messages sent through the plant itself can mean, I love you, dinner's here, or run. Meet a red-eyed treehopper mother. Her sole mission is to protect her nymphs. She herds them into a tight-knit huddle, a living fortress against a world of tiny terrors. Like the ant patrol that marches in thinking they own the place. Ant, who goes there? Name yourself. Treehopper mom, vibrating sternly. I am a very prickly problem. Back off. The ants, unimpressed, get the message. This bug means business, for now. But treehopper defense has its limits. Enter the nightmare, the assassin bug. It's all sharp mouth parts and sticky, grabby legs. It moves with chilling purpose toward the helpless nymphs. The mother treehopper is hopelessly outmatched. In a moment of dark comedy, she seems to bargain. Look, you can have the kids, but you absolutely cannot eat me. A stunning display of maternal sacrifice, with a 99% discount. Just as all seems lost, the mother's secret plan kicks in. She wasn't surrendering, she was stalling. Her backup? A squadron of fierce fuzzy bees that crash land onto the scene like tiny angry helicopters. B. Oof, sorry, didn't see you there, ma'am. Let us handle this. The assassin bug takes one look at this buzzing air force and nopes out immediately. The family is saved. But in the insect world, nothing is free. Safety comes with a bill. As the bees gently, ahem, scratch the backs of the baby treehoppers, the nymphs secrete tiny glistening drops of a super sweet liquid. It's the ultimate protection racket. The bees get a delicious, energizing snack, and the treehoppers get to live another day. It's a wild, weird, and wonderful deal. It proves that in the jungle, it's not just about being tough, it's about having the right, terrifying friends on speed dial.